And now it's time for some Q&A, and I got a couple of good questions here that are kind of a representative sample of some feedback I got on the WD NAS review we did. And both Mike E. and Frank here uh, point out that there are other NAS devices that support hardware video transcoding. In fact, Synology and QNAP uh, both have that feature, and we reviewed their drives and that feature right here on the channel a couple of months ago. But uh, in both of those cases, you cannot do that hardware transcoding in the Plex server on those devices, only on the native software that Synology and QNAP have authored for their specific NAS devices. So it lacks some of the features that people might want out of Plex. They come very close to replicating a lot of those features, but not all the way for a lot of folks. That WD drive that uh, we reviewed last week is the only one at the moment that supports hardware transcoding. My theory is, is that uh, they probably financed some software development uh, with Plex to get that hardware transcoding feature enabled, and I'm sure they've earned themselves some exclusivity for, uh, for it because uh, there are a number of other NAS devices with the same exact hardware as that WD drive that do not support hardware transcoding, yet uh, the WD drive does. So take a look at this link. This is going to be a really helpful link to keep an eye on over the next couple of months. And uh, what this will do is take you over to a Google spreadsheet uh, where some folks have been very diligently keeping track of every single major brand NAS device and whether or not it works with video transcoding that you might want to do in Plex. And this is all for uh, Plex compatibility here. So you can see uh, whether or not you can install the uh, Plex media server on the NAS to begin with, and then it will give you some ideas to what kind of video you can expect to transcode on it. So uh, somewhere on this list is a Synology 916 Plus, which has the same processor, here it is, uh, as that WD drive. And you can see here, although it supports 1080p transcoding, it's going to struggle with high bitrate HD media that, as we saw in the review, uh, our WD drive did not, because it has that feature implemented that is not yet implemented on other Intel-based devices here. But if you go through this list, you'll see right now, and this may change in the future, uh, that these uh, two drives from WD, the four drive model and the two drive model that we reviewed, are the only ones that support hardware transcoding at the moment. So uh, that is what I was uh, kind of pointing out there in the video, because at some point this will change, but right now, uh, those two are it. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporter Eric. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.